All right, let's have a quick look at Homelink 9.5 here, which is called Saving at the Stock Up Sale. And these are problems about uh, money and buying things, and we need to decide if we're going to estimate or calculate an exact answer for these problems below. So first, Phil has $6. He wants to buy some of these erasers. And they cost one dollar and five cents for each one. But if he gets more than five, they're cheaper, right? They're only seventy nine cents if he gets more than five. The question does he have enough money to buy seven creepy creature erasers? So if you buy seven, then that's more than five. So they're gonna be seventy nine cents each. And I think we can just estimate here. We don't need to calculate. We can just estimate. Um, and 79 cents is about 80 cents, right? So let's do 80 times 7, which is 8 times 7 is 56, and add the 0. To change this to dollars and cents notation, we just add the decimal point there and the dollar sign. So yeah, look here, he has six dollars. They're gonna cost a little bit less than this, so he has enough money. So the, write your answer um, here that he does have enough money. And we have the mo number model here for you already. So the next one down here, Mrs. Katz is buying cookies for the party. And it costs $2.48 per dozen. So 12 cookies cost that much. But if she buys more than four dozen, they're this much. How much are six dozen? So it's asking a specific question here. It's not saying, does she have enough? It's saying exactly how much are six dozen. So then we're going to do uh, the exact multiplication. So $2.12 is the same here as $2.12. So I'm going to use that there. And I think you can do this already, actually. So you could do partial products. Or you could do the lattice method. Or if you're really awesome, you could do both to make sure your answer is right. Um, just make sure that when you, after you have your answer, put it into dollars and cents notation if you know how to do that. Real quick, I'll show you how. So with dollars and cents notation, you always have um, dollar sign. There it is, like this. And you're always going to have a decimal point too. And then you're going to have uh, the tenths and the hundredths after the decimal point. And then you could have any number of digits here. It just depends on how many cents you have. So each of these cents amounts are going to look a little bit different. Uh, so five cents is actually a little bit trickier. This is going to be um, the dollar sign and just the decimal. And then you have to add a zero and a five because the five would go into this place. 23 is going to look like decimal point and then the 23 goes there. If you have 526 cents, now we're getting into dollars finally, like this. And then if you have this many cents, 3,052 cents, then you have tens and ones, and then 52 hundredths, or $30 and 52 cents. So just remember your answer. Uh, whatever you get over here, should be put back into dollars and cents notation when you write it on the answer over here. And I think that's a sufficient amount of help for this one. Just remember uh, to figure out do you need to estimate or do you need to calculate an exact answer based upon how they're um, asking the question in the story problem. Okay, thank you very much.